What is up, YouTube? Long time no see, no talk, no. You don't write, you don't call. Oh, that's me. Sorry, guys, I've been so busy. Oh, I've been taking on a lot more stuff at work and whatnot since I've stepped up a couple rungs and my boss is starting to realize that I'm not a complete idiot. I'm an idiot, but I do know some things. <laughs> so, you know, it took him a couple months. Smoking my egg, which was originally probably a Shire. You see it's got the X mark on it. It's a second. And it goes in crooked. Kicks off to the right. It still smokes so damn good. I've got to get me about one or 12 more of these. In it, man, it smells like a chimney. Deep hollow. It is far into the woods, away from the urban cacophony. Is where this lightly fragrant blend of rich red and black stove Virginias is designed to transport you. Relax. And enjoy the moment. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy it. <laughs> I'm really Tyler Swamp Piper eighty four. You are the man. That is a damn good tobacco. I'm not going to say it's going to take over from uh, Frog Morton Cellar or Frog on a Log. But I'll pick this up before I pick up on the Bayou or anything like that. And you know I love my frogs. But anyway, guys. Uh, happy for you, Tyler. Me and you talk. You know what I'm talking about. Kick rocks, bitch. Nick, smoking Irishman. Love you, man. Hear my thoughts. Hit me up. And uh, let me know if uh, Rumblebees tried that old Shenandoah bootleg. I like the bootleg better than the regular old Shenandoah. Just let me know. And, oh yeah. Dan, going back to Cali. To Cali. Going back to Cali. My boy Dan's coming to the States, going over to Cali. Uh, catch up with his girl. I'm happy for him. I wish you could call me when you was flying over Missouri and I'd wave at you. <laughs> you might see me. You might see the lake. <laughs> if you fly over Missouri, man, just look down. If you see the lake of the Ozarks, just wave and say, hey, Jeff. Kick that person out of that window seat and you sit there. Hopefully you don't get stuck between two tater hogs that just stink. Ugh. Alex, my brother, Alex George, from Melbourne, Australia. You need to get into the driver's seat whenever you make videos, buddy. People are going to think that you're just in up to drive. <laughs> And I love that clock on your show and tell, man. That clock, that clock was awesome. Sorry, guys. A little warm back here in my shop. 
But uh, anyway, yeah, I've been had some stressful times. Uh, Nick, you know all about that, brother. Yeah. But uh, um, stressful times. Yeah. Uh, Tom, the standoffish foreman of the shop, he's starting to come around to me. He's one of those standoff, standoffish type people that mm, really got to get to know you before he even smiles at you or anything. He'll say good morning and he'll say have a good night and all that stuff, but uh, other than that, he's just been I always got my stuff from the other guy, you know, what they, what he wanted me to do. And now Tom's coming to me saying, hey, I need you to build this. I need you to, and he's starting to realize that, hey, you know, I can measure and cut stuff and weld it together and it'll come out like you want. <laughs> I mean, damn. We're in a, you hired me to work in a fabrication shop. I can fab, fabricate some shit. I saw a shirt the other day. It said, uh, Fabricators. Uh, it said, fa Fabricator. Because your honor roll student that got an engineering degree still can't do it right. Sorry if you're an engineer. <laughs> and me and Tom were joking about that the other day because our boss will give him some plans for something, be it a dock or whatever it be, because we do one docks. So, uh, and he'll look at plans and he'll be like, no, this is not going to work. And he'll, dude is smart as a whip. Man, I've never seen anybody that can do some of the stuff he does just off the top of his head. A lot of people get out the calculator and start. No, he'll sit there and he'll he'll use a calculator every now and then, but he'll just sit there and draw something up. Look at these plans; they're wrong, and he knows they're wrong. He knows it won't work, and draw it like it's supposed to. Because the engineers say, "Hey, my book says this will work," but a fabricator or anybody that really knows anything that actually does it knows what will work and what won't work. So, yeah, he, so he just draws everything back out for us so that we can build it right. So me and him were joking about that the other day because just because you got a college degree and a book that says it'll work doesn't mean it's going to work in the real world. Hmm. Got me a new lighter leaf. Got me a good one this time. With that. Two ninety nine. I like the sticker on it too. I don't know what it's going to look like when it gets wet and comes off, but so far, really cool. I don't wear it when I'm welding. My last lighter leash went by wayside of me welding, and it got the string. One of the sparks got the string, and my lighter was laying on the floor. <laughs> but <coughs> just kidding. Uh, when did you think I was going to die there for a second? But anyway, yeah, this Deep Hollow, man, if you guys haven't tried it, so good. Really good. Everybody, uh, Kevin, Naked Cartwheel King, um, everybody, Rick, everybody going to Nashville. I wish, like hell, I could be there, man. But... It's just, uh, I ain't going to lie, finances ain't going to allow it. I know uh, 
my buddies, Rick and them, were saying, you just get down there, you'll be taken care of, this, that, and the other. I mean, they're good buddies. And, uh, but I just, that, and I don't want to put my truck in. I'd rather rent a vehicle because my old truck, she got 231,000 miles on her. I don't want to put her through that. It's like seven and a half hours away. I don't know how many miles it is, but I'd love to be there to chill out and party with you guys. And grab me a couple pipes from Rick Black and maybe Dagmart. <laughs> you know, Rick. Can't pay them overpriced ones. Okay, here goes my rant. And I've talked with people about this, and most are in agreement because we're working folk. This isn't wood. Okay, so this is wood. But how are you going to pay $300 plus for a piece of wood, and a piece of plastic, or acrylic? I don't care how beautiful it is. I don't care how long it took you to do all your etching and marking and stuff like that into it. I don't get it. I'm not a pipe collector. I'm a pipe smoker. I want to buy that pipe and I'm going to pack it with tobacco and I'm going to set fire to it. I'm not spending $300 plus for something I'm going to pack, pipe, pack tobacco in and set fire to. I ain't doing it. I will buy one from Rick Black. I will buy one from anybody that, or Jason Dagner, that are going to keep the pipes somewhat reasonable. Because I can spend 150 a lot easier than I can spend 300 plus for something I'm going to set fire to. Y'all need to get, get a grip on your, uh, oh, on your egos, I guess. Because that's ridiculous. And I love y'all's pipes. They're beautiful, but I ain't paying that. And nobody with any sense that works hard for their money is going to pay that either. It's just my my simple hillbilly thinking, I guess. The thinking of a country boy, anyway. Anyway, guys, I missed you. And I've been wanting to make a video. I've just been, like, last night, I was in bed before 8 o'clock. I've just been wiped having new stuff put on me and a little more stress at work and then which is welcome stress i i want to produce at work i want to shine like a star you know so i can see why this is your favorite tyler this is some damn good tobacco i'm gonna get me the big can of this Get a couple of them actually. I need to try that. Uh, I got this at uh, that brick and mortar I found in Overland Park, Kansas. And you see the price. I know I can get it cheaper on pipes and cigars, but I'm going to support a big, a brick and mortar. Um, actually, I want to go to Springfield and go to Just for Him. See what that's like. Maybe get me some more shortcut to mushrooms. Let me see if I can get me a bigger tin of this and some 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 of this deep holler. God, I say holler, holler, just down in the holler. And uh, what is it? Deep woods, backwoods, whatever it is. I need to try that one too. But anyway, fourteen twenty nine, fourteen thirty. You guys. Missed you. Big hug. And uh, be good. Or be good at it. And love, peace, and hair grease. Missed y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. See ya.